Okay, in this video, I wanted to give you a bit of an insight as to how I go about creating a social media post in Canva from a complete blank page, so from scratch. This applies to anything that you want to create in, in Canva, but we'll go through a working example as to actually putting together an Instagram post. So what I do to start with is I come to my home screen in Canva and I decide what I actually want to create. So for this particular instance, we know that we are looking for a social media post that is Instagram size. So in our home screen, we can come to this social media icon, which is sort of in the middle in this blue bar, it says social media. And then we want to click on this Instagram post here, which um, when we create that, let me just stop sharing my screen and bring on the right one. It will open up a blank template that looks like this one. So um, what I do to put together anything is I think it's really important to have an idea as to what you want to create in the first place. Um, coming in with something is generally a good idea um, and whether that it is going to be a post that has a lot of text so you want to share a travel tip or perhaps an itinerary or um, a sale then you can gauge a little bit better as to do you want to start with the text or are you going to go for more something that's visually appealing like um, a picture with a quote, for example, and then I would start with the picture. So for this particular one, I'm going to do a destination spotlight and I'm going to use those words and the country that I've chosen is Greece. So this template that I'm designing is actually going to be part of a larger bundle which I am going to put up in my store. So this is all about creating engagement, providing um, an interesting social media um, account and also providing that promotional aspect as well. So that's what I'm, I've am i got in my mind as to what I'm designing. So uh, let's just jump straight in. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put the word destination spotlight uh, in the top half and I'm going to have a picture in the, the lower half um, and then I'm going to have like a little search thing. So I'm going to start with my background first. So if you think about anything that, that you do in Canva, I like to start with the background first and then work my way to the front. So we'll do our back first. So to do that, we I'm going to start with a, um, a rectangle. So you can use your keyboard shortcut. So if you just hit R on your keyboard, it will automatically put um, a square shape in the middle of your Canva template. So what I want to do is I want to take up roughly about a third with this. I'm just going to resize it. And then I have um, already got a um, color in mind that I want to use. So I'm going to put in my brand color which is this one. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is we're going to add the words destination spotlight. So I'm going to come over to the side and hit my text and I'm going to put a heading. I'm going to drag that up to the top. I'm going to write the word destination spotlight. And then from here, I want to select the text uh, sorry, the font that I want to use. So again, I have um, my font that I am going off my branding with. So it is definitely helpful if you've got branding colors and branding fonts that you want to use. Um, it makes this process a lot easier because you're taking some decisions already out because you already know the answers. So the font that I want to use is called Playfair Display and see how we've just only changed one so if we come back in and try it again there we go and then what i do from here is you can either use the resize up here this font size to increase it with the plus but i tend to when i'm just designing like this i just tend to drag about the size that i'm sort of interested in and now i want to clear up some of this gap in the middle here so i'm going to come up to spacing 
and I'm going to uh, decrease this line spacing to probably about 1.1. There we go. And okay, so I'm pretty happy with how that looks to start with. And then what I'm going to do from here is we are going to find a picture. So um, if you have photos that you want to use, you can obviously use those, but we're going to have a look in Canberra's library. So to do that, we're going to go um, on our right-hand navigation. We're going to go down to photos and I'm going to type in Greece and I'm going to have a look for a picture that I want to use. So as you can see, we've got some that have the pro icons and then some that don't that are free. Um, so it's entirely up to you. If you have a pro account, obviously you can use those, but if you are uh, designing in the free account, then you've got plenty of pictures that you can actually choose from. So um, to go with our pink theme, any one of these three here would be nice. So this is uh, sort of like a walkway. This one's a mountainside, but I'm actually going to go with this one. So I'm just going to click it so that it goes onto my Instagram post. And then I'm just going to drag it in and just resize it. So that complements our purpley pink quite nicely there. And now the last thing that I want to do is I want to put in um, like a little search, like as if someone was searching for something. So we need uh, like a little um, search bar. So we'll come up to our elements. So again, we're in our navigation on our right-hand side. I'm going to click elements. And then um, we can have a look at these shapes. We'll just have a, have a look and see because we need a like this one sort of like a rectangle uh yeah like a rounded edge rectangle so if we put that one in we can squash that down okay so not quite happy with that one the edges are a little bit too rounded okay let's type in um sort of like an oval and then we'll click on our graphics to see more. So something like this looks good. Okay, so if we just shrink that one down a little bit and sometimes with our elements, when we put them in, they don't actually do what we want them to. They're a little bit, um, they're a little bit stuck in their shape. So some elements are really flexible. Um, others are not so much. So we might try this maybe smaller. That one looks a bit better, smaller gray one. And then you can see the element is actually transparent. So that's really nice. Okay. So the element also has an outline. Um, and the way that we can see that, so we've got the inside color, which is white, and then it's got this gray uh, gray color on the outside. So we can actually select this color and change it to match in with our with our purple. That looks really nice. Okay, now the next thing that we need is um, like a magnifying glass. Magnifying glass. And then this one, again, we're just going for graphics and we just want a plain, just a simple one. So this one, so if we click on it, and then from here, we just resize it. So we put it about there, Might make it a little bit smaller. Okay, and then the last thing that I wanna do is I wanna add the words grease in here. So again, I'm just gonna to come to our text on the side out of our navigation, I'm gonna click heading, and then I'm just gonna type in grease. And the font that I wanna use is called glacial indifference that one okay so from here we can um, align it so if we come just up to the top we just move our alignment there so again this is a template that I am intending on using over and over again so if we make a nice wide text box that means that next time that we go to use this we can put in a long destination name and it'll be there for us already so I um, might just make that a touch bigger and 
that's it so that's really the foundation and then from here i just have a bit of a look at tweaking um so to add a little bit of interest so i might make this spotlight let's see put it in an italic and then we might make it or a touch bigger maybe at 120 just make sure it's in the middle so a good tip is that when you get the crossbar then you can actually see when something is lined up and in the middle so that is good i'm happy with that okay so that's a really simple social media post um, that is something that you can do from scratch so um, I hope that this has been uh, a little bit of an insight and hopefully something that will help you in your own social media posts and making things from scratch in Canva and I will see you in the next video bye